Hi, so we're going to work in Jupyter Notebooks to learn about functions in Python. We're in this uh, the Data Sciences Workbench, with this, and this is IBM's Big Data University uh, interface here. We're really just using this interface to access the Jupyter Notebooks, so let's go ahead and click there. And then we're going to access our, uh, our IPython, or sorry, our Jupyter Notebook from GitHub. Okay, so I paste it in the URL. The URL is down in the comments or in your assignment. And we're going to hit Enter. Okay, now our interpreter here is Python 3. We're going to click OK. Okay, so now we're talking about functions. So functions are code blocks, just like we used in if statements and in loops, right? So we have this idea of a code block, which is just like it's kind of this, you know, a few lines of code that are indented under an original, you know, original line of code that kind of owns the code block, right? So in this case, it's a function, right? So if we have, usually these are repetitive parts of code that we want to use again and again, and it's rather than writing them many times, we can go ahead and put them under what's called a function. That way, when we want to call that line of code, we can just call the function instead of writing it all out again. Okay, so, <clears throat> so functions here. So let's see, it's the def keyword, it's the name of the function, followed by parentheses, open, close parentheses, and then we have a colon. And then underneath, we have the code block that's called. So in this case, we have def my function. Okay, notice how when I execute the code block, nothing happens, right? That's because the function wasn't called. Okay, so now to call the function, we're going to go my function. Notice this is the name of the function, okay? My score function. And then we have the parentheses, and that's it. Okay, that function is called. Okay, so notice now that basically I defined a function up here, and then I called it down here, which means that I just ran the code block. That's that's what calling the function is. If I put the function's name with the parentheses, it runs the block of code that I have named, in this case, my function. Okay. Next one, functions also receive arguments. Okay, so that these parentheses is a, the reason why we have these parentheses here is that we can send in arguments. All right, so an argument is just a piece of data that we send in, like a variable that we send into the function. Okay, so for example, if I want to print out a hello, you know, basically, and I want to have that same function used again and again, I can I can make a function called my function with args, right? which takes in a variable which we're calling username and greet and variable called greeting okay and then I can use these these uh, arguments right inside the function so in this case I take in username and I can use username right here I take in greeting and I can use it somewhere in the function okay All right now once again the function we wrote the function but we didn't call a function <laughs> So notice that we're going to be calling the function down here a little bit later. Uh, but then, we, but uh, so then we can also do uh, can also bring in um, can, functions can return a value. Okay, so usually we say that like a func usually we call these things methods that return a value, but function and method is used almost interchangeably. You'll have you have some computer science courses, especially in academics that. Academia, academia that delineate the two methods are this and functions are that um, in the in the larger community there's not a whole lot of difference you know people use the terms interchangeably so so you be the judge you come up with your own opinion on method versus function I, I tend to use them interchangeably more because I'm <laughs> more out of the laziness than anything else so anyway so functions may return a value Okay, so, so basically, if we call sum of two numbers, okay, and we send it two numbers, a and b, okay, then it will give us back a plus b, it will return the value. Okay, now, okay, so let's go into how do we call functions. Okay, so we have these defs, right, def my function, def my function with args, def sum of two numbers. Okay, now we're going to call those functions, right? So we can simply write the name of the function followed by parentheses. If it requires two arguments, we can send it in, right? So in this case, we're sending a string, which is then taken in as username, right? A second string, which is taken in as greeting, okay? And then it and then it feeds those into this print statement. 
And then sum two numbers, we actually can set, see how we're setting x equal to the sum two numbers? We're actually setting x equal to the return value. Okay, so we can think of the function, the type of the function as being equal to, equivalent to the return value. Okay, so sum of two numbers, one, two, is an integer, right? Because we're taking in two numbers and we're returning the value when we add them together. Okay, now we never actually printed x, so let's go ahead and print x. Okay, all right, exercise seven. So add a function named list benefits that returns the following list of strings. More organized code, more readable code, easier code, reuse, allowing programs to share and connect code together. Okay, add in function name build sentences, which receives a single argument containing a string and returns a sentence starting with a given string and ending with the string is a benefit of functions. <laughs> okay, run and see all the functions working together. All right, so, so in this case, we have list benefits, we have build sentence, right? Okay, and here it just says pass, right? So, so if we run this, it doesn't do anything right so name benefit functions okay so it's trying to iterate back through that so we have list of benefits equals list benefits function then it's trying to iterate through that but we're just returning pass so it doesn't really do anything right okay so i'm all for cop so so let's go ahead and you are going to write the code i'm going to pause for a second and then you'll come back and we'll check it together so pause the video Okay, so hopefully you pause the video and now you're finished. So let's go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and copy this just because they have it there for us. Okay, so we're going to list benefits. Okay, and we're going to return. Return. Now we're doing this as simply as possible. Okay, brackets. Okay, there is our list. Okay, so we got our list, and it iterated, right? But look what it did. It printed something. It, so it so def name benefits function, right? Okay, so there, it's calling the function. Okay, so it enters here. List benefits equals, equals list benefits function. Okay, so it calls list benefits function, which returns this list. So it assigns that return value to list of benefits right there. And then it says for benefit and list of benefits. So then we're we're going through, right? More we in this code, more readable code like that each time, okay? And so in each loop, we're supposed to send over the benefit statement. Okay, that's one of these over to the build sentences function, okay? The build sentences function is supposed to take in a string, okay? It's taking in benefit is the name of the string. And it's supposed to return a string. Okay, so in this case, it's going to return. Remember, we can just smush two strings together, right? So, so we're going to put benefit. Okay, and then we're going to add a space, right? Because our space, there's never a space when you need one. <laughs> and then we're going to add on to it. What are we going to add on to it? We're going to add on to it is a benefit function. Oh, because since, since we're making that function, we don't really need the space, right? Because we can just add a space in. Okay, so there we have it. Let's see how it works. So, so basically, we're going to loop through, right? We got our list of benefits. We load them into list of benefits variable. Then we start a for loop. We're list. We're looping through that list each time. It's one of these strings. First time, second time, third time, fourth time, right? And then for each of those, we're going to print out whatever we get back from build sentence. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that looks correct. Double check your work. Okay, so pause the video, double check your work. When you're sure you understand everything in this lesson, go ahead and file print preview. And go ahead and control P and then print to file and uh, save it as a PDF. Okay, and then upload that to your assignment. Uh, if you're here on your own, uh, nice work. Uh, hopefully you understood this. Uh, 
And you might want to um, go ahead and experiment a little bit more with functions. Best of luck.